What's up guys, it's Dragon. This is the Max Launcher. Ready, aim, fetch. So obviously this is a dog toy. That said, it's a heavily spring-loaded actual catapult. I don't think it's a trebuchet. I'm pretty sure trebuchets have the counterweight. So this is a catapult. Those birds are freshly hatched, I think. Welcome to springtime in Georgia, friends. So the Max Launcher fires uh, tennis balls regularly and it fires them very long, uh, long ranges. It costs somewhere between 20 to $30. This yeah. is actually not mine. I am borrowing it for the purposes of this review. It looks like you've attached like a belt holster to it, which is nuts. Anyway, we've preloaded it with these and the best way to describe these is these are like blunderbuss units. Yeah. They're loosely felt held together, just chunks of do re mi darts. There's Koosh, there's Waffle Tips, there's Elites in here, and uh, there's nobody really to shoot. And <laughs> this kid's getting out of the way, that's great. I don't think it'll go that far, but you guys can see that that is the spread. And wow, like that's actually like a line of darts, roughly, I don't know, what would you say? That's at least 40 feet away at the very furthest, and then uh, certainly topping off down here at like 15. This is a sock bomb, so it would be usable for HVZ. Daniel is not paying attention, and... Nope. So aiming it is a little bit difficult, but it is very cool. Lots of spring tension in there, but once you get back, it locks. This is a mega, mega one. Flavor. Mega Magic flavor. Fly back. Actually, a lot it's better. Oh, that makes yeah. sense, because the weight is distributed further back. Okay, yep. so, sorry, kid. I am the one, the way you're trying to... <laughs> wow. Hey, you are the one. There you go. Is there any left? Uh, yeah, one one last one. And you'll notice that he's been uh, rubber banding these so that, did you add like almost pull pins to the rubber bands? Yeah, it's you just a dog, ring. I love a that. Ring and a hair tie. All right, so they uh, they almost just like gravity drop in there. All right, this time I'm probably gonna hit you. Wow. <laughs> it is a tight grouping when you fire it down though. Mm -hmm. This is sweet guys. Like where do you keep finding all this funky stuff? Well, I realize anything that'll shoot a tennis ball, we'll shoot one of those wads of darts. So I just started looking for tennis ball launchers. That's awesome. So don't dry fire this, guys, because there is a lot of tension. And yeah. it does have, a, like, a rubberized bumper in it, but it's lasted all day today. The catch is pretty good. It's just like a funky, funky device, and it's so cool. And, I mean, obviously, I assume that if you have a larger breed of dog, this could be really awesome. The foregrip is kind of janky, but, like, I'm sure that they can print it or injection mold this relatively inexpensively, which is why it doesn't cost that much. What a cool thing. So definitely has Nerf applications. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Much love. Nerf on Drek out.